Hey everyone, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a thrift store haul from my favorite thrift store called His House. His House has four different locations in the Columbia area. I have been going to this store since I was a child. It's been around for a very, very long time. My grandmother used to go to it all the time. Um, this location that I'm showing you is the Broad River Road location. This is closer to downtown Columbia. And this is my second favorite location. My first favorite location, my absolute favorite location is the one off of Meeting Street in West Columbia. Um, and then of course the one in Lexington on Highway 1 near the flea market is my third favorite. And then the last one is in Lexington near the lake and I don't really go to that one. But yeah, so um, I typically go in here. I don't ever have data on my phone whenever I go in here. So I'm not able to comp anything most of the time. Today I went in. Looking to spend about $40. He actually charged me $21 for everything I'm gonna show you. I did not comp a single thing, so let's cross our fingers and hope that what I picked up will sell for a decent price. So, as always, I will be putting sole comps on the side as I show you the items. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing that I picked up was a tripod because you can never have enough tripods in your house if you do videos like this. Right now, my camera is on a tripod but it's a flimsy, cheap one. This one actually came from Circuit City. I miss Circuit City, do you? I don't know if other states have Circuit City, but they close all of ours down. Um, I always like them. I like them better than Best Buy, but that's just me. Um, but yeah, it's this, um, it's got some spiders on it, dead ones, but it is this ESA e uh, tripod. I want to call it an easel. Heavy duty, nice. Um, I think this will go very well. I will have to use a different attachment up here, but that's okay. But yeah, um, I don't know how much you charge me for this. At the end of the video, I'll break down everything so you can see basically what I paid for each item. Um, but I know I didn't pay much for it if I paid 21 for everything. So, all right, now for the clothes um, and shoes. So I did pick up a pair of shoes. This is a pair of chocolate blue. And I um, found a pair of chocolate blue flats the other day at the bins and the pricing comps they were pretty good so i decided to try these and see i do need to get the toe stains out but um they're just like a little woven sandal type thing they're cute um really not winter wear but you know whatever <laughs> um i picked up this suede jacket this is by lucky brand there is the label Pardon my fingernails, they look rough. But yeah, so it's a long, lucky brand jacket. I'm not sure if it's females. I'm not sure if it's women's or men's. I'm pretty sure this is men's because it is a, it's a medium. And this looks like it would be like a large on a woman. So I'm gonna say this is probably men's. Um, he gave me that for three bucks. That's the one thing, usually they charge $25 for leather coats. He charged me three, so and there's no flaws on it at all. That needs to go up soon. All right, next thing is a plaid top by Pretty Little Things, or Pretty Little Thing. Um, this is a size 1X, which is a great size. Might keep it. I like the plaid tops. I've been wearing them with leggings. Um, but yeah, so it's just like a brown and white plaid top. The next item, I, it does have a stain, so I'll have to try to treat it. And somebody a while back told me what to do about the orange, like rust color stains. Let me know in the comments below, again, what do I do? <laughs> what do I use to get the rust colored stains out? So this is Vineyard Vines. They haven't been doing too hot for me lately, but I haven't really got any good pieces. This is a pretty linen dress. It is striped, however, it does have a little stain, if you can see it right there like a orangey brown looking stain. Um, and you know, it's a summer dress, but as I see it, after Christmas, people are gonna have gift cards, they're gonna have money in the bank, and they're gonna be spending a lot of money between the end of Christmas, like day after Christmas, through the beginning of February, and then you got tax time coming up and people are gonna be getting their tax refunds and people are gonna be spending. I always have the best months of my you know, reselling year in the beginning of the year, always. All right, so this next piece is by Bren Walker. I have, I've comped these before, um, and I, from what I remembered, they were decent, the prices were decent. This is a long sleeved, I'm thinking it is like a mini dress. Um, it could just be a tunic, I will have to research that some. 
But yeah, it's just the long sleeve. It's that mustard yellow color. And the next piece is another Bryn Walker piece. This one is Bryn Walker, size medium. It's like this cowl neck linen. Um, I don't really know what you want to call it, but it's got drawstrings on it. It's really cute. It is really cute. I give it that, um, but I don't know how it's going to do. And it is 100% linen made in the USA. So we'll see. If I can find a picture of it on a, on a stock photo, I will put a picture of that like over here somewhere. All right, the next piece is by a brand called P.O.L. This is size large. This is the label, P.O.L. And it's this cute striped top. It's got like the flared bell sleeves, which I don't know if they're even trending anymore. I doubt it, but they're still cute. All right, so this is new with tags. This is a J Crew, and it's not an old J Crew. It's kind of new. It's got the, I don't know. Is that new or is that kind of new? <clears throat> so this is, got the tag. Um, there's no price, so it's probably bought online. This is an extra, extra large, which is a great size. It is a sweater dress, cowl neck sweater dress. Um, do I want to keep it? I don't know. <laughs> that is the question I ask myself when I always find these cute little things. Um, this one is from 2019, so last year, and that's cool. We'll see. I'll look at comps and see, but I wasn't gonna leave it behind. I did check it for holes. There was no holes. I grabbed this vintage dress. I love finding a cute vintage dress. This one does have a couple little stains on it, the orangey looking stains, but they're kind of, they're much lighter. They're not very dark, but due to the color, it's like fall color, so it's not as visible. But this thing, it's by a brand called This Is Yours, San Francisco. I'll try to show you the, yeah. I don't know if I can show you the label or not, but this is what it says. This is yours. And it's this long maxi dress. It is so pretty, so long. And, oh no, does it have little, it's got little holes in it. Um, honestly, I don't even care. <laughs> I'm still gonna sell it. Even with the moth holes, because that's what it is. Um, you know, people like this type of stuff and they do repair that kind of stuff. Um, obviously you'd have to patch it. You can't really do too much with it. But I'm not gonna leave this behind because it was cute. All right, the next piece is a pair of overalls. This is by a brand that I think is cheap. Um, extra large is what the size is. This is by American Original Rewash. So that is the brand. And these are like a pair of overalls. They're not denim, they're kind of like a, I don't know what you wanna call them, like stretchy kind of material. But yeah, they're just cute little overalls. I picked up another summertime, springtime Vineyard Vines dress. It's a label and it's just this. I actually have a shirt, same colors and stripes in my closet that is linen. It's not moving, it's not going anywhere. This is a cute top. So this one is by a brand called Sparkle and Fade. And it's this sweater. It's kind of mesh looking. The black areas are mesh. So, um, I don't know if you can really see it, but yeah. Really mesh. I thought the design itself was pretty. So, grab that. This piece is by Walter Baker. So this is the W118 by Walter Baker. It's extra small, but it's a little mini, well, not really a mini dress, like a knee length dress, long sleeve. I think it's silk. Of course it's not, Vicky. It's polyester. <laughs> so anyway, it's just a cute little dress. That is it. This is the, the design. It's like a pink. And then I picked up this vintage top, which is cute. It's a more summery type top as well. I'm pretty sure it's vintage. It's by Sunset Cove where dreams are made. This is the label. It could actually be modern, I'm not sure. Um, but it's a like a cute Hawaiian shirt with a front tie. So. And what is this? Last 
for the his house. I also have Goodwill too, so I'll show you that too. Um, this is a vintage sweater. It's a chunky knit sweater. It's got a pocket on the front, and this one is by In Private Design for Living. Um, it's 100% acrylic, uh, made in hot in Korea, size medium. It's just a cute orange chunky sweater. So that's everything I got from his house. All right, so real quick, I'll go ahead and show you how much I spent on each item at his house. And since I'm right here and I have another bag that came from Goodwill, I might as well go through it, right? And I spent $43.75. I didn't get that many things, but I got a couple jackets. So they are pretty expensive. Um, well, $5.75. They rang one up as kids. Anyway, so let's go ahead and look at it. Um, the first item that I picked up, I paid $8.50 for these. These are a pair of Sam Edelman boots. They are just a black boot, nothing special. But I do know that this type of boot people like to wear with those rolled up jeans and stuff. So, yeah, grab these. These are size, I don't even know. And is it peeling on the inside? That is like the worst. I know it's more torn than anything. Anyway, it's a size seven and a half. Um, I hate it whenever I find really cute boots and then I open them up and they're peeling. These ones aren't peeling, it's like kind of torn, I guess, but anywho, um, I got my daughter some slippers, kitty slippers. They are like the Thai Beanie Baby or the Thai, um, logo. I just think of Beanie Babies when I see that, but just some kitty sweat, uh, slippers and hopefully she'll like them. I don't know. This is a size... Ten, and it's a Bowden. It's just a denim jacket. So I've never seen a Bowden denim jacket. Obviously, I knew they had to exist. Um, but yeah, that was five seventy-five. The next piece is a Betsy Johnson jacket. This was five seventy-five as well. This is extra small, um, but it's this awesome neon green waist length jacket. Um, it does have a couple spots that need to be stain treated. You know, like around the uh, sleeve. Well, not really. It's rolled up in the wrong spot. So anyway, regardless, I'm going to stain treat that part whenever I um, go to wash these, but I'll show you if you can see it. Um, you might not be able to see it, but yeah, it's dingy in the sleeve or the sleeve cuffs. So yeah, it's just this cute little green, kind of like a rain jacket. All right, the next piece is this Vineyard Vines size large. It needs to be stain treated. Hopefully I'll be able to, but I've sold this exact one before. I think it's for like 35 or 40, if I'm not mistaken. It might've been less, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's this white fleece um, vest, zip front vest. And there is a little tiny, little tiny stain right here, which I think I'll be able to take care of that easily. I hope. <laughs> And I'm almost done. Okay, I got two more items. All right, so this is a Banana Republic. Um, it was $5.75. It's just a, a cute little cardigan. It's a short sleeved cardigan, nothing extravagant. But it's just, it's really cute. It's long and short sleeved. It came out in the summer of 2012. So, and then, oh, I got one more. This one is by a brand called Promisa, and it's this pretty sweater top. It's got like, I don't know if you can see, but like, this is like a, what is it called? Like tassels type thing. Anyway, it's just really unique looking, and I thought that would be a great pickup. Um, but yeah. So I also got this top that I'm wearing. It's really, my bra straps keep showing. I guess it's supposed to be that type of, I don't know, maybe it's for people who don't have to wear bra. I don't know, but I have to, so I keep having to fix my <laughs> top. But it is Pac-Man. It says Nom Nom Nom, which I thought was cute, which is from Willy Wonka. And it's that annoying girl from the movie. Um, I don't really know much about this. Like, the label feels like it's vintage, but I don't think it is. Um, it's polyester. Made in the USA, RN number one two six six one seven five six one seven. I don't even know, but um, yeah, 
I'll find it online, I'm sure. It's probably relatively cheap, but I thought it was cute. And some people really, really love Willy Wonka, so um, it is a sheer top. Definitely very sheer. But that's it. So that is everything that I picked up from the Goodwill. And I spent, like I said, $43.75. So I paid this much for each item. And yeah, now I have to work on getting all of this stuff uh, washed, prepped, listed, and then inventoried, which I am really bad at inventorying. I don't know about you, but I hate it. It's probably the worst part besides shipping. I don't like shipping either. <laughs> But I definitely don't like to pack stuff up and take it to the storage unit. It usually sits in bags in my living room for like at least one to two weeks. Um, but yeah, I probably need to um, get some stuff taken off since I'm off tomorrow. I will definitely get that done. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like before you leave. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Have a great day. Take care and stay safe. Bye.